Welcome to this tutorial on how to set up DRS Vocovo Go. To begin, you need to download the files from the Vocovo Go channel in the Discord server and insert them into your game. You can add them into Studio by right-clicking Workspace and then selecting Insert from File. Once you've ungrouped the file, you can begin to set up the product. Firstly, to configure help points, you need to open the part and then find the location string. From here, you need to rename the value and this should be set to where the help point is around your store, like bakery or self-checkouts, as this is what will be shown on the Vocovo system. You can duplicate the parts as many times as you wish, but ensure all help points are kept within the help points folder. To configure the majority of settings, you need to open the Vocovo settings script. From here, you can change a number of things. Firstly, to change the whitelist, allowing different people to use the Vocovo systems, simply change the ID of the users or the ID of the group in the square brackets. If you are configuring a group, make sure to add the allowed role. Feel free to duplicate these square brackets below themselves to add more users to the whitelist. To customise access to different channels, simply change the group and rank numbers within each channel. To create more channels, duplicate the code beneath itself as many times as you wish. You then have the option to add some additional audio files to customise the product. You only need to re-upload three, press for help, disconnected and reconnected. To do this, find the file you downloaded with the audio and upload the three to the Roblox Creator Hub found at create.roblox.com. You should then paste the ID found in the audio's URL back into the script, where it says rbx assets ID colon forward slash forward slash. Finally, to customise the buttons on the service caller, you first need to open the part and then open the UI folder. From here, there's a list of numbers and these represent each button. Open the button you want to customise and continue to open each part until you find the text label. Here, change the text to what you want the button to be. For example, I'm going to call mine Help. Make sure to note the number of the button, in my example 1, as this is used later. After this, head back to the Vocovo settings script and scroll down. Find the button you wish to customise by locating its number in the square brackets which is the number you noted down earlier, in my case, 1, and change its name depending on what you changed it to earlier. Again, in my example, I changed it to help. You can then also customise the audio or colour of the button if you so wish. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, please open a ticket in our Discord server via discord.gg forward slash drs.